welcome back. Sorry for another pause in the videos. Uh, it's been nuts. It's almost back to school time. And I've been running around getting school stuff for the kids or myself. You know, all that fun back to school shopping. Um, but here we are. I've had some a little bit of crafty time. And to continue with part two of using a 12 by 12 paper stack, so far I've made an envelope flip book and then a paper bag book. Um, I started <laughs> recording the process of doing this and then it just didn't work. <coughs> Dogs barked, my kids came in, and then I'm like, oh, well, I could do a voiceover and blah. Anyway, so I decided I would just show you what I did after the fact. So in the first video, we put the paper on the envelope and then this is with the embellishments and I made a closure just using some sorry silk. Here I have an embellishment from um, the embellishment pack. It says start here and then I thought this fun bird would be fun on the front and I simply uh, use some, uh, what is it, Wink of Stella? Yeah, I use some clear Wink of Stella to add just a little shimmer on the bird's feathers and on hello. And then here I have this big chipboard piece that has the buildings. And so I also had some puffy stickers, so I made like a little city scene. And then over here I used some embellishment sweet moments added some of these wooden ones and then in this pocket I put tucked in some goodies the cut apart there we go here these are embellishments from the line I think this one or the uh, different page ovens but I just put the actual plastic packaging and I adhered it onto the page. So then the person who receives this could use those embellishments. Here, I used one of the frames that I have and then made this as a little baggie that I put some sequins and some confetti. So this could be used in a shaker card. And then in here, I have some more cut apart. And then on this one, this was an embellishment of wood chip. I just loved it with the yellow behind. And then I made a couple tags, simple tags, and tucked those in. Here, looks like I need a little tape. It's coming up a little bit. But here I made a little tuck, and then I added some tags and journaling spots right here on the side. Yeah, I need a little more tape right there. And then this one, nope, that one doesn't have, and that one doesn't have, nope. All right, so this is kind of the middle of the envelope flip book. And then it just folds back this way. And there's the back. I added some of this ribbon. This is some washi tape to kind of keep it reinforced. And then here's my closure. So fun, and this is just really fun to send as Happy Mail. All right, and then the other one is a bag, a paper bag flip book, and all I did is I took three, I think it was three, three paper bags, and you can simply just fold it in half. I, because most of my pages were smaller, I think it was about this size, and then I just cut this part off. And so then you'll see in a second when we get to the center, I poked two holes, just did threading like you would, um, just simple two holes with, and then some thread for like a journal closure. I mean, you could staple, you could do brads, there's different ways you could attach it. One thing I wish I would have done before attaching it is I wish I would have rotated my bags so one would have gone one way and then the other. So again, I would have cut it first cut it here I guess I could go ahead and do that I would cut it and again you don't have to 
but if you have paper scraps like I did that were smaller, because it's super cute and you have more space if you don't cut it, but I would cut it and then flip one of them around this way. And I forgot to do this when I made mine and you'll see. And so then when you open your book, you can tape this part down and this can be a tuck spot. And then in here you can tuck stuff and it alternates. In mine, I have the ends and the fronts together. So all of my tuck spots like this are on one side and all these are on the other side. So let's go to it so I can show you what I mean. All right, uh, this closure is a little different. I took some um, Baker's twine and I wrapped it around and I made this little tag and I simply have it tucked back here. I think I can slide it off pretty easy. And then I had a sticker embellishment. So that's that. And then here's my cover. I layered up some different pieces from the embellishments. And then I, pro I stuck them on um, foamy stickers to kind of give them some dimension. And then here's the first one. I had little stickers, Carpe Diem, Love, Dream, Laugh. Um, and I added some paper. And then here's a little tuck spot with some different journaling spots. And then here's a pocket. And I just tucked Oh, maybe I tucked too well. There we go. Some tags and some ephemera from the ephemera pack. These are just barely small enough to fit in the pocket. There we go. And I just simply added some hearts. So here I added some of those circles I did, that I did the fussy cutting. Added this trim. And then I have some embellishments there. Never Stop Dreaming and Beautiful. Pretty subtle at the top and bottom. And then I layered this one, it says Awesome. And this, um, I took, oh, where'd this come from? Hmm, my stickers are falling off. I think I need some glue. <laughs> um, I took, I have a sticker sheet and I just took some of the stickers from the sheet and just kind of collaged them on there. Add some glue. This is why you want to use your stuff and not hoard your stash. <laughs> if you hoard your stash, you lose your sticky. If you use it when you first get it, you have all your sticky, right? That's why we need to use our stuff. All right, so in here, I tucked in some of the ephemera. I love that bunny. It says, new memories, a speech bubble, and a little ticket, or um, what's that? Not a ticket, is it? I guess it, we'll call it a ticket. All right, well, I have them out, let me show you. So I stuck the two holes, and then I just, just like I would with a journal, just put string through, and then I put stickers on the ends. I thought that looked really cute with the hearts of different colors. have this bunny sticking out. He's super cute. All right, make sure my hearts are showing. And then some more crafty goodies on this side. It says, let's get crafty. I'll do the other ones later. And so here's what I'm saying, so here, now I have these little tucks for cut aparts, and you'll see I have one, two, three of them. Here I tried to do a little vintage with the um, newer paper, so I just put some book page, and then this is part of Calico Collage's B paper that I had nearby on my desk. And I love this phrase, you are capable of amazing things. This is part of Tsunami Rose um, paper right here. And then I put one of the two by two papers that came in this little phrase thing and I just 
punch to the corners with my punch. And then I added more goodies here. Now, if you wanted, you could probably, you wouldn't have to have all of this as a pocket. You could just tape it or glue it so you only have this and so it doesn't open so wide. You could close it up. And then here I made a pocket and I stuck some tags. And there's these books from the ephemera. It's a little sticky right there. Ah. And then this one says choose happy and it has some butterflies. And then there's the last pocket. And there's the very back. So that's really fun. And another fun thing, item to send in happy mail. And then I'll slide that back on the top. Pretty fun. So, so far those are the two things that I've made with the paper pack. Um, I think our next thing will be, let's see if they're nearby. I've already cut, like I think I showed you before, but I've already cut the traveler's notebooks. I think we can do these together uh, next time. So I'll get some papers and then I'll show you how to bind one of them. And then you can embellish. And then we'll see where we're at after that. I was looking at my stuff, but we'll see what we have left. Um, if you are interested, I would love to, I don't know, maybe at the end of the series, pick two people to send these to. Um, so if you wanna, if you're interested, comment below. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it'd be kind of fun to just pick someone to send one of these to in Happy Mail. All right, I think that's all for now. Let me know if you're working on a 12 by 12 paper pack and what you're making. All right, I hope you have a wonderfully crafty day. Bye-bye.